Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. Bam Weather Meteorologist Matt Griffin here with your latest Iowa forecast update. Getting this video out a little bit later than normal here, but to be honest, there's really not a whole lot to talk about here. And the reason of the uh, quiet stretch of weather here is Hurricane Helene here, which looks to impact the, the Great Bend of Florida here as a, we believe will be a Category 4 hurricane. And um, why is that impactful? Why does that matter for weather in Iowa? Well, you, it, it robs all the moisture. It doesn't allow us to get that tap into the Gulf moisture. And, and as a result, our weather pattern is rather benign the next couple days here. In fact, we take a look at the, the forecast moving ahead here. I'm going to use this run of the European model. A couple things to, to note about it. As I bring this out forward, you can see as I bring things out to Friday morning, getting into Friday afternoon, that L, that's the remnants of Hurricane Helene working its way into the Ohio Valley. You can see some of this moisture attempts to swing off to the west. Saturday morning, gosh, me, I, I, I struggle to even mention a low in chance into eastern Iowa here towards the Illinois border. My gut says we're dry. Uh, Saturday morning, 10, 5% chance, I'd call it. Um, and then maybe some low in chances in the Saturday afternoon. But again, I just feel like the, the rain will be to the east and southeast of us into Saturday even. Again, maybe some air, bouts of moisture and getting into Sunday morning, early Sunday afternoon to extreme southeastern Iowa. Those are, these are little minimal chances here. In my opinion, we even stay dry in those areas, but those are the only areas where some very light moisture could, could happen. And you know, if we do get lucky or unlucky, however you want to view it, it's not going to be overly uh, uh, heavy. It would be less than a tenth of an inch here. So that's what we're talking about. Um, getting scraped by low end chances and light chances nonetheless. But regardless, you can see through Sunday into Monday, um, getting into Tuesday here, just most of the rain stays off to our east. There's a cold front that swings through sometime getting into Monday night into Tuesday morning. Once again, a very low end chance in the extreme northeastern Iowa, but I just think we're dry. I don't think there's at really any point where I'm I would feel confident about rain chances here into the short term. At least a, a shot. Next best threat, in my opinion, would be kind of next Thursday, Friday. You can see this, the precipitation the European model tries to hint at. We do have a storm system then, a cold front that swings through, but doesn't look overly beneficial or widespread. It's low in chances nonetheless. Um, and then we do have another system October 6th to 8th. That may be another opportunity, at least into the, the immediate term for some precipitation chances. But... Um, other than that, you know, I just, we're going to be quiet the next one to two weeks uh, for the most part here. I don't see a whole lot of major systems impacting us. Of course, we're, we'll continue to keep an eye on things moving forward, but it doesn't look to be uh, an overly active stretch of weather here. As far as uh, other forecast uh, considerations here, you know, as we head into Friday afternoon and even getting into Saturday afternoon, it could be a bit breezy. These northeasterly winds, these are kind of the, the wind field around the remnants of Helene here. You can see these sustained winds I'm showing us. Maybe some gusts near 25 miles per hour can't be ruled out Friday and Saturday afternoons. Um, but you can see getting into to Sunday morning, things calm down a little bit here. What's going to be a little bit more interesting is heading into Monday, Monday afternoon into Monday evening, a cold front sweeps through. You can see these winds now starting to shift from the northwest as we head into Monday here. And I do think it can usher in some, some stronger winds here. Uh, nothing, again, overly significant, but... Northwestern Iowa, some wind gusts, 30, 35 miles per hour will be possible. And as we head into Monday night, getting into Tuesday morning, maybe some 25, 30 mile per hour wind gusts can't be ruled out behind this cold front. But that's that's about it for you know uh, any type of, of appreciable weather concerns here to the forecast. So, um, of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on things, uh, and we'll let you know as things change here. But uh, forecast very quiet over the next couple days here. So, reach out with those questions. Happy to help. Have a fantastic Thursday, and we will chat with you all soon.